Hello, it's Ken here. Um, just a quick explanation as to how to use the Atlas of Living Australia to find out what bees occur along the southern coast of, um, of Victoria. Um, you begin by searching for the entire bee group, uh, which is a Apoidea. Okay, so you click on that, uh, submit it, and this brings back this return here. You open up the superfamily Apoidea which brings you back a map like this. Now you go into the records and you open up view list of all occurrences, which is 201,561 B records for Australia. You open up that and you draw a map. You go to the map. You can either have a look at the individual records or you can go to the map. Now this map is, is um, movable and you enlarge it to look at Southern Victoria. Then you simply grab this icon here, and let's take this area here. You simply hold the mouse down while you uh, circumscribe an area. That will then open up and tell you that there are 146 species from 2,527 records. Uh, you click to search on that area, and this will then bring back those 2,527 records. And here's the taxonomy. Here's all the names over here on the left. If you open up the Choose More, you will get a list of these 146 names all the way there. Now what you can do is, let's say for example, you want to see what does Amagilla uh, chlorocyana look like. You can simply grab that species name, copy it, and then open up Paddle, which is uh, www.paddle.gov.au. Go on down to the search light and put in that name, which will bring up click the name and then there's the species. You can then open up that page and here are images of that species. A wide range of both sexes showing you images of the, uh, of the, of the bee uh, and also here's a distribution map uh, for that species. Um, when you're in Paddle if you like you can go to the Australian pollinators which you can get to from there, or you can go from the image library down to Australian pollinators. And let's say, for example, you want to have a look at um, uh, Lassioglossum. You simply type in the name. Uh, it's a scientific name. Hit search. And this will bring you back 249. Uh, species. Remember, there are eight subgenera of Lassioglossum in Australia. And there they all are. Uh, so let's say, for example, we wanted to have a look at, um, let's change this, uh, and um, have a look at something small like uh, Ost Evalias. Which is a, this is a subgenus, there are 21 species here. Uh, now, at any time, you can have a look, see how there are a whole lot of species, different one here. You can open them up individually and have a look at them and uh, look the, have a look and go through them. Or what you can do is you can create a comparative image table. Now, um, there are 21 records, but only 10 are currently being shown. So if I click the 25 icon, that will bring 25 records into your display. From here, you click the Select to Compare, which transfers all of those species images over here. You then click to Compare button, and it will tell you all of the images that are shared across those 21 species. And you can then choose what you want to look at. I don't want to look at the distribution map, uh, so I'll just click it off. I want to see the female. I don't want to see the male. Uh, I don't want to see the, uh, the forewing. I don't want to see the gaster. Um, Let's just go on down here, have a look. I want to see the front of the head. Um, I don't want to see those. Um, I don't want to see the labrum. I want to see the female lateral. I want to see the mesoscutum, scutum, the metasoma, and T1 of the propodium. Okay, so I have chosen just a few to have a look at. I click continue. And this now produces, provides me with a comparative image table for all 21 species. I can open it up to say view in full screen, and then there they are. All 21 species.
with all of those characters. You can go across. One of the things I find very useful is to look at the mesoscutum, and there's the mesoscutum, and I can move on down and have a look at any one of those. Any one of these I can open up. I just move to the image and I click, and that enlarges the image. I can go back to the table by just hitting that. Okay, so this is a very useful way of combining Atlas of Living Australia and Paddle. The Atlas of Living Australia will give you the names, and on Paddle you'll be able to see images of the species. Hope that helps. Cheers, bye.